I just got a splinter in my arse. Really? Hi, my name is Jen. <laughs> is this recording? Yes. Now that. Hi, friends. <laughs> this is my friend Jen Lynch. Hi. Uh, she's an actor, dancer, singer, extraordinaire. Also, you know, photographer as well. Lots of different things. Yeah. Has her, her Dip fingers. my toes. My fingers. Yep. Yeah. Her crossing fingers and a lot of Chris different pies. Get an explanation on that one. She wanted to come on and be painted. Yeah, so, I did. You so created I did. some magical stuff. So I kind of harassed <laughs> Maddie and was like, please do this. I you just know. wanted to be a part of it. Yeah. So yeah. this is what we did today. But if you want to know how we created this face, and if you want to hear the wisdom of my friend Jen over here, then I don't know if it's wisdom, but it's certainly something. <laughs> if you want to listen. Well, it's entertaining to say the least. So <laughs> if you want to know how this happened, keep on watching. Let's get started. Hi, interwebs. <laughs> it's Jen. <laughs> Who's this lady? No, thank you. Not her. <laughs> I'm here to teach you about makeup. <laughs> first things first, have your skin. Have your skin, um, embrace it, and then just walk out the door. Go grocery <laughs> shopping. I just want everyone to see this really great mug that Jen gave me. I got that for Christmas from Shannon Hambury because your girl knows it's all about the hustle. Oh, are we recording? Yeah. Hi. Oh, <laughs> I'm really profesh. You're super profesh. Yeah, my, when Maddie asked me to be in this video, uh, I was like, well, I'm kind of booked, but yeah, <laughs> I can make time. It's gonna be fun. It's whimsical. I'm thinking whimsy. Whimsy. God, this is what this t-shirt embodies. <laughs> uh, I just thought I'll wear my best apparel. I made this shirt by myself, by the way, so if you need a tutorial on how to tie dye your own average t-shirts, let me know. I want that tutorial. <laughs> With a Michaels kit. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you just go to the store and spend like $30 and you get three shirts. What is this? Okay, this is primer. We're going really Hi. super dewy with the skin today, so <laughs> I really want to like give you some of that extra hydration. It's got coconut oh water. Oh my god, in it. it smells like Hawaii. Yeah. You close your eyes, you're blinded by the ring light. Where am I? On a beach? Or? So yeah, it just gives you a little extra like moisture, hydration. I wash my hands before. So. Honestly, I wouldn't be offended if you didn't. <laughs> Jen's blessed with like some pretty nice skin and some <laughs> killer eyebrows, so I don't do much there, which is like a kind of a godsend. But. My acne wanted to come out and say hi to you today. So I have one in the middle of my forehead that we're going to love and treat with kindness. I was pretty excited to know he still existed, to be honest. Yeah, it was like an old friend coming back to say hi. My youth, it still exists. <laughs> do join me for tea, will you? Yes. I didn't want to do too much on the skin today. I wanted to keep it really, really minimal. I'm just gonna go in with some concealer and just do some spot concealing. I also want to see how this color matches. This is the one I use. Cause your girl is pasty. They say pasty is tasty. So whatever that say. means. <laughs> for the most part, your complexion is really great. Mm. It's so nice to like work with somebody else for once. I don't have to stare at my own mug for like three hours. Your own mug? Yeah. Talk a little bit about what you do. Yeah. Bit. What you do for a living? Um, I perform. And I also work in the Arts Club box office. And what that means is I can sell tickets. I answer the phone and I say, Arts Club Theater Company box office, Jennifer speaking, how may I help you? You are so good at that. Thank you, three years later. And I don't even have to think. <laughs> and most of the time, if you call me, I'll already know what you're gonna ask for. Well, it's mostly if you're a subscriber, if I say, what's your ID number? Or if they're like, my ID number is blah, blah, blah. I'll know that they wanna do a ticket exchange. Really just an improvisational exercise. <laughs> it's an exercise, like anything in customer service is an improvisational class. And acting well that's the thing so before one of my co-workers Chanel worked there um, for two years I pretended to have an Australian accent I'm not... so I'd answer the phones as an Australian and then Chanel who is our newest member of the Arts Club she actually is from Melbourne Australia <gasps> and this woman called him was like oh yeah I've spoken with you multiple times and Chanel was like I am brand new are there any other Australians here it was me I got caught but oh my god you got caught yeah, it's a theater company so they were accepting the fact that you didn't get in trouble for it well you can go back and listen to the calls and it's really funny also my accents improved and then I also performed so Maddie and I actually did anything goes together that's how we met uh, you were Reno I always said you were Hope but you're Reno it was not Hope and I played Charity oh she's on my angels one of the angels the fact that I was once an angel in a production of anything goes and I'm like getting to have my own angels I, was I like, know hey mm -hmm. that's surreal you're like, like come on ladies full circle how long have you been performing for ever since I graduated university you mean well just like life oh I mean like I mean I've been dancing since I was five years old. I'm just gonna get right under your nose here a little bit. My cupid spell. Your cupid spell. Yeah, look, you're learning. Did I Google that term? Maybe. Mm -hmm. We can do a little bit of cream bronzer. Can we just, can we show the public? Perfect match. And it's sheerer than it looks and just carve out a little bit of, even though your cheekbones are actually pretty rocking, so I don't really have to do this, but. Thanks. In case people don't have cheekbones and they want to follow along. Like me. You don't have cheekbones? 
are like not the most prominent. You fooled me. Thanks. It's makeup. I'm really good at makeup. My uh, makeup talents go so far as to put mascara on only some days. You put on false eyelashes sometimes. For shows. For shows. And only on like two show days <laughs> to make it worth it. No, I buy the ones that are always on sale with Shoppers Optimum Points. Because then you can save up enough points to get your mom perfume at Christmas time. Okay, so. that's pure. <laughs> yeah. Stop. I buy all my things at Shoppers to get points for Mumsy. Yeah, well, just Chanel Allure. She smelled like that my whole life, so I'd be upset if she just stopped smelling like that one day. Oh, yeah. But like, where's my mom? But she's worn it forever, so we get her that every Christmas with points. Okay, that's so sweet. So, what a cute gift. I somehow always end up talking about my mom whenever I do, like, podcasts or videos. That's probably because she was a huge influence yeah, in your life. Yeah, she's my bestie. When your mom's your best friend, like, who else are you going to talk about? All my other best friends. <laughs> They're all like, curse you, shakes fist at the universe. <laughs> like, it's your one best friend's out there being like, I also exist. Jaco, who puts up with, like, all my baloney. She deserves a shout out. So the problem with me is I'm obsessed with brushing hair. Like, it could be your hair or my hair, but mine's just convenient because it's on me. So yeah, I don't I don't know what I would do if I didn't have it to brush, you know? And my scalp is also like riddled with psoriasis. Really, welcome viewers. Jen's not shy about anything. No, and the stigma. My skin is crusty. My scalp is flaky. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Well, it's my like, bowels don't work. Jen is a famous advocate for people <laughs> suffering from bowel syndromes. Yes, irritable bowel disease. Or even IBS too, because those people don't get enough credit for the pain they go through. And it's an invisible disease. People yeah. have no idea it's happening or no idea of the pain you go through every single day or no idea how many pairs of underwear you've ruined. We're using this thing today. I've been on a kick of using this lately. What color are we doing today? We're working with blue. We're going to do some blue today, folks. Oh, was that yellow from your other makeup video? It was. I didn't clean this brush. I'm so sorry. If you're actually working on a client, folks, clean your brushes. <laughs> but if you're working on a friend. So I'm gonna actually like focus a lot of the color in this area. Cool. Kind of like the clouds video. And it'll all look like, it'll look really shitty until <laughs> it comes together and then it'll look great. What am I dipping into? I think this is one that's mochi. Either that or kimchi, I get the two mixed up. I just had mochi ice cream the other day. Did you really? It was delicious. I learned about it on an ASMR YouTube video that a granddad did. And honestly, I went down that weird wormhole and found him eating and he called it mochi. Mochi. Cause he's cute. He's super cute. ASMR? Yeah. <laughs> do you get the tingles? No, I'm a little bit um, tingle-less. I hear people do. Yeah, he's like an older gentleman doing ASMR on YouTube, which is so uncommon. It was like if my dad did a video on his garden gnomes, you know, something super cute like that. Why isn't he doing a video on garden gnomes? I don't know, we could call it like no man's land, but- You should have a channel about garden gnomes. You know, he has a million gnomes in the basement. He won't put them outside because we used to have two leprechauns named Seamus and Finnegan, and they got stolen. <gasps> Yeah, it was actually a tragic day in our family's history. I'm just laying down some color for some fun shapes later. And what's up with this? Where's this palette from? Sugar Pill! I think Instagram and YouTube has definitely changed the game for makeup brands in general. Sephora like has changed the game on like how you can buy different brands of makeup. It used to be just like go to Mac or go to the drugstore, like there's no in between. I remember getting a Mac lipstick for Christmas was like Jesus had bestowed his forgiveness for all your sins on you. Plentiful Gifted Jesus. Bestowed, bestowed. Bestowed, that's the word. Okay. But it felt like such a, a blessing. <laughs> I just see my nose. And it looks pretty blue. It's very blue. I don't know why I thought blue with you, but you were like, I want you to do my makeup. And I was like, I have this immediate idea for a look. Well, yeah, I contacted you because that, I mean, all your looks are insane and we watch your YouTube videos all the time. But the something about that whimsical yellow cloud one just like it spoke to me. It's something I hadn't seen before because I don't know what goes on in this makeup community and I don't watch the videos. <laughs> but to have someone you know personally post something like that on their feet, I was like, what? What is this? Like, I, I think it's different when it's like a personal friend. Yeah. Like, I think it definitely like. And you appreciate their work, and it just feels like so real and it attainable. But there's so many talented people out there. That's the thing. There's just a, such an influx of people doing makeup online on the internet. I read this really nice thing the other day, and I actually don't remember how it went at all. So I'm just gonna paraphrase the entirety of it. Please do. But it was that when did creating art become? something that like only professionals can do. Because yeah. people say, I can't paint, or people say, oh, I'm, I can't dance, I, I don't know how to sing. Like, you just have to do it. You just have to try. I mean, we were just, you know, I think fortunate enough that we started doing things like that when we were kids. Yeah, I couldn't imagine not doing it though. And I've never thought it wasn't possible. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of people in society are now afraid because it, saying you're a makeup artist comes with a lot, a lot of, of loaded expectations. Yeah, a lot of But like, who puts those there? 
<laughs> uh, yourself. Like, the older you get, the harder it is to just sort of let go, I guess. Enjoy being creative. But it's so cool. Like, I would never think to put blue on my face. That's why I contacted you. I was like, oh my god, help! <laughs> I need to do this, but I don't know how. We'll see how it turns out. I mean, don't speak too soon. Well, I just think it's cool to create. Like, we're spending time together doing art. Art. The art. This is called the Moonchild Glow. Oh, shining, shimmering splendor. It's very shiny. What do you use purple for? Um, I actually, you know, I use it a lot for eyeshadow. Anastasia. Is, is that how it's pronounced? Yeah. Shine it up a bit. Shine bright like a diamond. And these cheekbones. Oh my god, do you remember NSYNC? I loved NSYNC. And the Backstreet Boys. Okay, are you Backstreet Boys or are you NSYNC? I'm Backstreet Boys. Yeah. I gotta be real with you. The Backstreet Boys were right up my alley. That, Britney Spears, the Spice Girls, Christina Aguilera, Genie in a Bottle. Like, whatever wow. that meant. You gotta rub me the right way, yeah. Ooh. I've never actually processed those lyrics. No? No? How does it... Um, if you want to be with me, baby, there's a price to pay. I'm a genie in a bottle. You gotta rub me the right way. She was like 16. Yep. Okay. Nice I guess ring. Brittany was no better. She like wore a snake. Yeah, her <laughs> first single is called Hit Me Baby One More Time. Wow, my world's just been shattered. <laughs> Makeup with Maddie. Hit Me Baby One More Time. But like with your love. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're hoping, right? Disney. Genie in a bottle. I'm gonna do a little bit of blush on your not on my chinny chin chin. I put blush literally everywhere. There's like a, a red nose trend, hey? Well, I mean, I like putting blush on my nose. But people do that. I've seen it. I don't know who started the nose blush trend. <laughs> I have Christina stuck in my head. And also like the infamously like B44 get down on you or whatever it's called. Huh? Have you, you remember that song? If you get down on me, I'll get down on you. Oh too. yeah. I thought you were talking about the like Shorty, get down. <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate. Get down on me? Yeah. If you get down on me, I'll get down on you. Love it. I listened to that as like a nine year old and was just like, yep. I mean, sure, I legit. listened to 50 Cent Candy Shop. Right? I remember being in my mom's car and like, you know, she knew I didn't know what it meant. So she was like, yay, lollipops. But. <laughs> I don't know, I did hip hop class when I was in, when I was in elementary school. Well, I think that's the thing, as a dancer, we're both dancers. Did you start with dance? Yeah. Yeah, same. I started when I was six. And they just play whatever. Yeah. Like, they they don't care what it's saying, as long as it's got a good, like, bass to it. Oh, yeah! My roommate. Come say hi. Hi. <laughs> Dip into some white cream paint, and we're gonna start Whoa, painting. Whoa, we're painting! Yeah, we're painting today. I'm gonna paint flowers on you. Cool, like that, but on her face. Do the first one out here. Okay, that worked. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna be cute. I'll have to go over it a couple times, but I think this is gonna work. Jeez. I'm trying not to make them super uniform. What's your tattoo about? Is there an umbrella? I'm yeah. I'm gonna look through my bad eye here and I can't see it, but. Do you have a bad eye? Yeah, my left eye has astigmatism and really messes with my vision. Oh my god, I have astigmatism in my left eye. Twingies. <laughs> we almost wore the same shirt, but I opted for this really nice creative piece here, so. Hey, I wanted you to talk about it on camera. Oh yeah, okay. So this is my tie-dye shirt. Jacob and our friend Jenna Tastani, we always tie-dye shirts every year. Oh, no. So we go to Michael's and we create friend shirts. I love that. Yeah, it's like a fun thing to do. Adulting at its finest. Just want to hang out and just like eat snacks and tie-dye shirts. Like yes. the big children we are. I'm literally like face painting right now. I know, it's awesome. I feel so special. I'm yeah! Like Actually, there's a an artist, a YouTuber called Pontberry, who does these like really cute freckle looks for holidays. They do like shaped freckles. Yeah, like for Christmas, she did like little holly berries. And... Cute. What's up with this freckle trend too? Hey, I'm obsessed with freckles. I've always wanted them ever since I was a kid. I have some in the summer, but like none that are like super prominent. Common. But I think they're so beautiful. You know, I have one freckle on my face. Uh, where is it? Well, this <laughs> finger too. Gross. <laughs> My fingernail's trying to fall off. I'm trying to keep it on. Oh my god. Here we go. It's because there's, yeah, there's like two layers to it. So the <gasps> second layer always pushes the top one off. Oh my god. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, so I just have some band-aids on it all the time. So uh, it's here. That's, I see it now. Yeah, but I get some freckles in the summertime. Modern medicine though, hey? Like we're so lucky. We're so lucky to be alive. In this <laughs> I would have been dead. Okay, like right at childbirth. So I inhaled. I forget the word. Jacob, what's the word where babies eat their own poop in the womb? Not actually the poop. Your intestinal lining, you can't poop until you've ingested food. But it's your intestinal lining, so essentially I ate baby poop in my mom's womb. That would have killed me and her in medieval times. <laughs> True. So, yeah, modern medicine people. Yeah, I was supposed to be born on Halloween, but I ate my own poop, so. <coughs> October 27th it is. <laughs> Ding. Subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>
Well, hey, then here's the thing. You can take anything and turn it into a positive. Well, that's true. I'm super happy to be here, and I've never eaten shit since, so life lesson learned at zero hours. What are we going to call this look? I don't know. You're going to have to brainstorm with me. It's daisies, and it's blue. Blue daisies. Mm. <laughs> Innovative. They'll look like little crosses for now, but once we put a little yellow in the center. Let us pray. WWJD. What would Jen do? If you were a deity, I'd pray to you. <laughs> I have a lot of Jen jokes about that, like the Jen commandment. I love that. Jen commandment is trust no fart. That's number one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. You're, you're, you're. I did. I did. I almost just painted just a giant slash on your face. Well, because like when you have colitis, rule number one, everybody who has colitis knows not to trust a fart because it is never just a fart. It's never just a fart. My mom would disown me if she watched this. <laughs> She'd be like, stop talking about feet. Matter. Oh. I just refuse to feel embarrassed about it. And Something the that. stigma, people. The title of my autobiography is I'm Not Shitting You. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually working on it. Are you? Yeah. You're writing it and stuff? Uh huh. Incredible. Yeah. Nobody was supposed to know about that because what if it never comes to fruition? Well, it doesn't have to. Start documenting now. Well, my life has been like kind of a. It's been kind of a whirlwind. mountain. Give like the Coles Notes version. Of, Coles like, Notes version. All right. I pooped in my mom and almost killed both of us. Emergency uh -huh. cesarean. I'm from Fort McMurray. So in 2016, May 3rd of 2016, my family's house along with like 2,600 other houses burnt down, which was horrible. And yeah. I say it like smiling with blue on my face, but that's because it's a defense mechanism. It was really, really hard. And I think my perspective on life and on just things in general has completely changed because we lived through that like we know what it's like to lose everything you've ever had but my thing was like I had my family you know what I mean mm -hmm. and that is all you need my mom was out of there she had the shirt on her back and then my dad thank goodness he got the dog it took a long long time to recover from that or just like move on like you always hear of people being like oh my gosh let's wear our grad dresses and you know mm. take photos and I'm like <laughs> or like you know family photos and things like that you don't get back but in saying that it's not the end of your life and you do realize that all those things were just like material items that you place some sort of silly worth on when reality it's all about the memories and the people that those moments were spent with but it takes like a horrible event to show you that yeah that was like the most dramatic turning point I think super unfortunate but also kind of there was a silver lining to that whole story and I'm really grateful for how everything turned out my family has a beautiful new house and they even got another puppy named Basilton and so a lot of good has come out of it too but definitely a learning point just be grateful for what you have when you have it because it can disappear life lessons with Jen I can just take more photos my people are here we'll just take more Jen is actually a <laughs> photographer I do take photos yeah I should take photos of my family actually yeah. now that you mention it family photos man do it that would be such a great gift Merry Christmas mom and dad Shh, my mom will 100% be watching this. Really? Yeah, I told her I was doing it. She's like, wow, that's so creative. It's so fantastic. For real? Oh, yeah. She was so excited. She's just so supportive. Oh, like, she is. She's really... Do like, whatever. And she'd be like, go, Jen. <laughs> so what you do is you take a little bit of, like, white eyeshadow and just sort of dab it on top. Do you think your place is haunted? I mean, it's an old house. And sometimes, like, doors open or lights are on and, and things are, you know, things happen. It could have been me just forgetting to do that. But I don't want to say that they, they couldn't be here. But, you know, the, the first law of thermodynamics, as far as I know, is that energy can't be created or destroyed it can only be transferred so when a person disappears like where does their spirit go or their soul I think that's a really like nice way of thinking about death How Jacob just posted a sign that said are the can I see this <laughs> are the onions too loud be honest that's a good roommate right there <laughs> that's that's the best roommate I think it's so important to also focus your attention in in other areas than just one because if you put all your ducks in the basket and then they run away what do you do <laughs> if you have ducks multiple in ducks in multiple that? baskets then you've got a lot of other options I do photography and drumming and do you drum uh, I'm like the world's most amateur drummer but I, I love freaking that. love it I, I would not define myself as a drummer but it's just something cool to do but I just want to do a really bright inner corner just to tie everything together. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. I wish I had a monitor, honestly. That's, that's where the money will go next. Monitor or better lighting. <laughs> I'm like, I would. Oh, I itched my face. Did I mess up a daisy? No, you're good. Oh, come on. I want to try using a little bit of glycerin. Since I don't have like a fancy eye gloss or anything. A fancy eye gloss? Eye gloss. Oh, eye gloss. Glycerin is basically just like what people use on set to like create sweat. Well, mm. I thought it'd be a little editorial vibe of doing something glossy on the lid. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pop of shimmer first. And then gloss up the shim? Yeah. This almost looks wet on camera though, too. Are you gonna do eyebrows? I'm gonna do a little bit of eyebrows. Your eyebrows are so strong though, like. You Cause your girl, 
does not upkeep with the society's expectation for women maintenance. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna put brown mascara through them because they are such a good shade. They don't brown need mascara. anything. Yeah, it's like tinted brow gel basically. And what you do is you just kind of give your brows a little. Wow, that feels exceptionally weird. It feels like I put icing on my eyebrows. What? Feels like a cat just licked them. <laughs> this is just a clear one, but it kind of locks everything in place. Learning a lot today. Yeah, you You're are. You're at Maddie's channel. You mm -hmm. learn about makeup. And everyone else learning about life philosophies from Jen. I know, hey? Zen Jen. Life handed me lemons and I made a shit ton of lemonade and then donated it to the homeless people on the drive because I do that every week too. Really? Yeah, not necessarily lemonade, but. But yeah, I'll buy them meals or like sit down or chatter. Really? Yeah, they're really cool people and they've seen some, they've some, seen some dark shit. days, Harry. They were just put in situations that they didn't know how to handle or they have mental illnesses or they didn't have a support system. Yeah, but they're beautiful people. People are afraid of the homeless and honestly I think they could teach us a lot of lessons. And just so grateful even for like a hot coffee on a cold day, you know? So do you like go hand out like coffees or water? Well, or? Tim Hortons is by my house. I'll walk up the street that I live on and then ask them what meals they want. <gasps> Pay it forward folks, do something nice for somebody. My parents are from Dublin, they're from Ireland and they oh. there was a lot of poverty in their day. Like he and my mom both taught us from like a really, really young age to just treat people with kindness and respect and they had nothing. My parents had nothing and people Wow. knit them blankets and, and gave them gift cards and it's really important for me to pass it on. I actually really love this glossy eye look though. All I need you to do is put on your mascara, dude. Woo! Uh, something's in my eye. Oh no, it's gonna cry! Jacob, can you show Maddie where the Q-tips are? Classic, right? Well, at least we know my tear ducts work. Okay, you feeling better now? Yeah, definitely. That, that was wild. fire was in my soul. Someone on this channel is gonna be like, by the way, don't use glitter in your eyes. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, good to know. Lesson learned, got it. It's generally used for like, sweat effects. Listen, makeup is hard. Okay, rub them together. <laughs> <laughs> it's like part of the process where you're like, I'm not gonna breathe for like 30 seconds. And I'm like, stop talking, <gasps> focus, try your best. This is just a little peachy gloss from Too Faced. It's called Pure Peach. Pure Peach. Mmm. Five-year-old Jen would have consumed that. Would have, e would have eaten this for, for sure. sure. I've never done a glossy eye look before, but I have used glycerin in the past. I used it on Sweeney Todd. Kind of a sweaty brow for Jen Turpin. Is that how you had a sweaty brow? Yeah. I mean, oh I put glycerin God. on it. Yeah, you put it, you put it in a little spray bottle. Yeah, you were so crusty looking. Yeah. Makeup. All right. It was so good. I know. I thought it was like the perfect touch to make him just like the grossest human imaginable. And it worked. Yeah. Nailed it. I wondered how he got so sweaty. That brush is nice. We're done. A little setting spray. This one will give you a nice dewy finish. We love a dewy sister. It's also really nice and like refreshing. Refreshing. Yeah. Oh, right. I smell like a garden. Well, that's the finished look, guys. How do you feel? Aside from crying all, yeah. all this makeup off, yeah. uh, I feel really great. I, I I love it. I've never had a whimsical look before. Like, I had a look in the mirror and it's like so sparkly too. How do you feel? Yeah. Your first human other than yourself. Yeah, I feel really relieved that it went well. Yeah, it did. Yeah. We had a nice little chat too. I always love hanging yeah. out with friends. It's kind of the goal. Thank you so much, Jen, for inviting me over and letting me paint your face. Thanks for painting my face. This kid creates some magical stuff. Oh. If you guys want to see more guests, just give this thumbs up comment down below if you want this to be a regular thing and there's so many friends that we have that yeah we love to just have a sit down and well i'm really glad we can make it happen yeah me too uh where can they find you uh my social media um instagram is underscore j-e-n-n-l-y-n-c-h underscore jen lynch my photography page that we've talked about is jennifer dot lynch dot photography thank you so much Jennifer, for coming on to my channel thanks Means a lot i feel like we should have like a handshake yeah we should no just, like, you know, a, like a like a, like a pound it and then like it. squid away and if you haven't already Please subscribe. You should subscribe, on guys. Come on. <laughs> what more do you want in this world? I can be found at Madelaide on Instagram, which is the same way it's spelled here, and my Twitter, which is very infrequently updated, but I do still have it, is at Mad Suds, which is M A D D S U D Z. All right, I believe that is everything. <laughs> And as always, be kind and be yeah. generous to everyone you meet kind. out there in the world today. Just spread the love. Spread the love. And hopefully, I will see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.